Okay, we're going to start by showing you how to add items to the store in case that you don't have them on the POS or in case that you have a mess on the POS and you just want to start fresh with a new batch of products the way they're supposed to be done. So what we are going to do is we're going to go to items. Then we're going to go to categories because the way we do it, for example, so this is not mandatory, but the way we do it is we go from the categories to the items so we can categorize the item first uh, or as we go. Okay, so I have two categories here. I don't want, I'm not going to use them. I'm going to create a category that's going to call um, topicals and I'm going to put my items there. If I want to add an image, I can add an image for the category, right? So I'm going to is this one and now i have a category image um search engine optimization for the category it's important because here is where you say where you tell google what is this is all about so in theory you just you should put like i don't know topicals for cambio or cbd topicals because this is a cbd store so cbd topicals for external use um I don't know, great CBD products with or topical products for external use, blah, 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 and put some descriptions on it. This will help you to achieve a better SEO, the general um, history of the website. However, if this is just an emergency site, don't pay, it, don't pay too much attention to it yet because you're not going to need it right now. Right now, what you need is to start um, getting back to work. So, so you can add items to the category from here. So I have three already that are topicals and I'm going to add them. And now they're here. Now I'm going to hit save. And it's done. My category topicals have items now. So I'm going to add an item so you can see how it works here. It's pretty much the same process as the POS. One of the things that you have to keep in mind is that the stock is dictated by the POS. So you have to tell on the POS how much how or how many products you have of them. You're not gonna do it here. So create a new item. Then we're gonna say it's a physical item. You can do memberships, you can do an event, you can use service. It depends on, on what items you have active, but you can do a lot of them. Um, item title. I have my items on the, my other screen, so I'm just going to copy paste. My titles and descriptions are in Spanish because this is a primarily Spanish site. So message on the front. I'm going to open. Keep in mind that you can obviously, as you could see, um, add multiple images at once. Then you can drag the image for the one that you want to be primary. If you want to delete an image, just click on the garbage can and it's going to go away. Um, the item is visible. Okay. The fulfillment is going to be shipping. I don't have pickup and delivery activated, so it's not going to allow me. Oh, yeah. Well, actually, yes, it allows me to choose. So this is important. And this is important because you can um, select the prep time. Um, this is designed so if you're gonna have a you know selling food or something, or even this customer that is selling CBD, they need I don't know five minutes ahead or fifteen minutes ahead to get everything in a box and have it ready for you to pick up. So it depends on the on the type of product that you're selling. You're gonna need more time or less time or no time. You can you know if it's just one it could be available immediately and then you can go and pick it up. That's okay. Um, but you can say five minutes is healthy, um, and you can vary the time, the preparation time, based on the product. So it's not like if it's a more complicated dish, or if it's a more complicated product to I don't know store or ship or prepare for shipping. You can do you can change it based on the on the product, okay? And you can also add the location default for prep time, so you don't have to. Um, changes every time. 
we're going to talk about location default later. If the item is tax exempt, you have to um, select this. If it's not, then no. The price is 30 bucks. Um, you can add modifiers like color, like cookies, or something that you want to add. I have seen customers adding uh, desserts to the to the main entry because they want to like oh I want um, sandwiches or clubhouse or whatever and oh we're, we're gonna the customer puts a cookie there also so they order the sandwich and immediately they see that there's a cookie option available so they buy the sandwich and the cookie from the from directly from the modifiers so it's like a mini menu um, every time you open an item so you can add modifiers and keep the modifiers or not so that's completely up to you to manage the variation you can hit click here you can add another variation and say i don't know extra large or you know what you can do like um both Bulk purchase 50 bottle. And then done. And now I have my 50 bottles. So I don't know, let's say a thousand bucks. So the customer can now purchase either 50 bottles or 30. And now we're going to add the modifiers. And the modifiers are additional products that you can add to the or modify the behavior of that product. Um, you can add them from a text box or you can add them from a checklist. I like because of the fact that most of the people are going to go in from a, or are going to visit your site from a mobile device. I like to use this one better. So concentration. Um, or let's see, like extra concentration. I'm not gonna assume that I'm gonna be able to put to add milligrams to the okay. So if I want additional 50 milligrams on it, then I'm gonna say that it's ten dollars. Okay, and if I want, I don't know, to add 100 mg to this one, I'm going to say that it's 20. So modifiers add a value to the product. So they're not like variations that you pick one or the other. Modifiers add value to the product. Um, so this means that if the product was um, $20 and I add a modifier, then it's going to be, um, it's going to be whatever extra is the modifier. So let's save it and let's view the product. Um, so categories, because I have a category already done and that's why you should do categories first. Um, I'm gonna choose a category, I'm gonna put it on topicals and it's done, it's on topicals. On the products, um, SEO is the same concept as a category. You're going to have um, an SEO title which should be the product title and you're going to have an SEO description which should be the product description unless you know what you're doing and you're familiar with SEO don't um, don't change this just copy and paste but it's also going to be default to this so unless you want to modify something you can just leave it blank And now the product is safe. And that's it for the products. Again, keep in mind that the products that you have on your POS will be transferred here. But you need to make sure that the products are set up the right way with the modifiers the right way. So if you have a dish, for example, and it has rice and beans and, and meat and chicken, whatever, you need to have those modifiers inside it. If you want additional chicken, that should be a modifier. If you have a large dish, that should be a variation. 
on a small plate is going to be a variation. You want additional shrimp, that's going to be a modifier. So you have to set them up right so they, the customer, when they order online, they can see exactly the, what they're supposed to see.